All right. Well, we are here at the Anarch Diamond Jubilee. It is uh, the last uh, day of the event, sort of here tomorrow, but wrapping up. Uh, we are, uh, you know, coming to the end of what has been uh, nothing short of the most epic North American Land Rover gathering uh, that uh, certainly uh, has been seen in generations. So uh, I'm joined again, of course, by the world famous uh, Jeff Aronson. Thank you uh, again, Jeff, for this time. It's been a, a great day, to, a great way to start the day uh, sitting and uh, chatting with you. I enjoy it. Thank and, you. Uh, don't get Thank to spend nearly enough time out here with you. So. No, you're on the wrong coast. I know. Exactly. You come to Maine. Yeah, exactly. Look there. at this beautiful weather. I why wouldn't I? This is, why would you not be here? Exactly. <laughs> uh, another soupy morning, but uh, it proves, uh, it looks like it's going to be uh, improving this afternoon and uh, get back to a little bit nicer uh, for what I imagine will be a pretty busy day here uh, at the Anarch Diamond Jubilee because uh, Saturday, I think there's going to be a lot of walk-in traffic, a lot of people coming into to, to say hello there are already uh, day passes that have been sold in advance and those i'm sure who will see all the vehicles here and wonder what on earth is going on can i sneak in some houses right, right. it is possible to walk right in and see all the exhibits and yep. land rover's vehicle history right in front of you right meet all the enthusiasts who are here from all over the country and wasn't it a packed banquet Last oh my night. goodness! What an event! Uh, of course, the uh, the big celebration uh, dinner, the awards, the auction, the raffle. Uh, it was uh, it was epic in, in its depth and scope, and uh, and wonderful group of people. Uh, some some incredible uh, uh, Land Rover folks, and uh, and you and, know, Stephen, that is such an important point, at least to me, mm -hmm. to make. As I walked around last night and met enthusiasts from all over the United States and Canada. That's right. I was amazed when I just asked the simple question. So what's your profession? What's your occupation? Right. What do you do? Yeah. And the range of people from uh, the Episcopal Bishop of Atlanta right here yes, yes, in his yes. Range Rover class. That's right. His holiness, the uh, the range. It's, it's a, sort of a Pope will be almost, I think. Yeah. 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 Uh, his wife is a college professor. That's right. Yes. And author. And then uh, at another end of the spectrum, folks who use them on working farms right. to, yep. to this day. Of course. There's yep. some loggers in there. Yeah. yeah. We have people who are describing these amazing um, alterations and customizations they've done to theirs on their own. That's right. Yeah. We have some that actually were created just to get here for this event. Um, and they made it. They made it. They may not make it back, they but they got not. here. That's all that matters. That's I right. may be one of them. That's, who doesn't make it back. that's right. Yeah, that's right. Not in full. Our, yeah. Yeah. Our vehicle may make it back, but I'm not sure that we will. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, we'll see. I don't want to leave. See? Yeah, that's right. Why? Why would you? Well, and speaking of vehicles uh, being prepared specifically for this event, uh, yesterday was the uh, conclusion of uh, the Anarch Cup with the uh, with the big RTV stage. Uh, which was uh, spectacular, to say e the least. ESPN has done nothing as epic <laughs> as what that Section 6 was. Exactly right. And That's for that, exactly right. I have to thank all the people who worked with me, especially Bill Cooper, yes. who actually helped design that evil, yeah. evil course. Yes. Yes. And we watched vehicles pound up and down. Absolutely. And my goodness, what a, an exciting thing that was. But even the RTV sections, the first five yeah. that we uh, finished marshalling yesterday. Yeah. And I do want to say are open today for your enjoyment That's and right. for your practice. No problem at all. Yeah. Do I have a moment to announce the RTV winner? You do, and I would uh, appreciate you doing so. Thank you. Rovers North uh, cr uh, sponsored the creation of the RTV course and supported it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Rovers North staff who are here actually also helped marshal the entire That's time. That's right. Yeah. Spent yep. uh, eight hours total over the two days mm -hmm. in uh, marshalling it. And we have the exciting announcements, gift certificate of $200 for the winner, Jason Taub. Fantastic. And yes. a Range Rover Classic, that's a right. short wheelbase that's classic. Right. Yes. So yeah. you do not need an 80-inch to win a no, trial No, that's course. right. That's exactly right. And in a Defender 90, second place, Russell Duchon, who that's also right. yep. stepped after. He, he ran and helped Marshall for the rest of the afternoon. What How a generous. Yeah, exactly. And third place in a Defender 110. Which is not an easy do vehicle not. to do an RTV <laughs> in. That's right, yeah. Jason Aston yep. took third place yep. and has a $100 gift 
certificate from Rovers North for that. And man, thank you to Rovers North for the sponsorship, not just of the RTV, but of the entire event. Uh, you know, Mark Letourney, his family, uh, we're here, of course, uh, uh, Jeff, you're here and then the rest of the staff and, uh, you know, something of this scope and scale simply wouldn't be possible uh, without folks uh, like Mark and Rovers North coming and not just, uh, you know, obviously sponsoring with a, a significant amount of uh, financial help, but to your point, also putting in the labor, having his people here, having, uh, you know, goods here to, to sell and, uh, you know, sponsoring everything from the neck lanyards to the posters to everything else. And it just, uh, it wouldn't be the event that it is without those, uh, those vendors and, uh, and what a fantastic. And, you know, the entire there. range of Land Rover specialty companies that are here yeah. and sponsor, uh, provided sponsorship as well as the camaraderie that they bring. Yeah. It is wonderful to meet the people who help us keep our Land Rovers on the road. That's right. With their knowledge, their expertise, and their product, we are just very, very fortunate as a community to have that happen. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a. It's pretty fun to have uh, folks, you know, obviously coming up to Ike and saying, uh, yes. you know, I've been buying parts from you for uh, twenty five uh, years, and uh, finally get to meet you in person. And, and uh, I do want to say that when people say that to Ike, yeah. I have heard his responses. Yeah. Don't stop now. Yeah. Don't stop now. I, I, by the way, I think you owe me three hundred bucks. <laughs> is what he normally is what he normally says. So uh, yeah, no. <laughs> but it has been great. We've had some wonderful people come up. Uh, big fans of the show, of course. Of uh, course. You know, John Kosich and I uh, have uh, been here all weekend doing our, uh, uh, you know, our shows. And uh, it's pretty cool to have uh, both. Uh, unfortunately, Dan and Ivan from uh, Rover Talk couldn't make it oh, out from dear. Chicago. Yeah, so we didn't quite have all three. Right. But uh, but they're here in spirit. We've been uh, we've been uh, emailing Ivan throughout the weekend. And uh, uh, it has been great. But And, uh, and I do want to say, because I do this, I do a lot of outdoor work as part of my many jobs right yes of course. and yeah. one of the great things to have is this podcast saved john's podcast right. saved yes and then while i'm toiling mm -hmm. and in labor and i want you to feel this Stephen, <laughs> while i'm toiling <laughs> sweating hot miserable yes yeah, i am listening yeah. to your voice right and, and it i'm makes waiting it just that much worse right? i'm waiting yeah. for the uplift <laughs> <laughs> and it never comes it never comes yeah that's right yeah that's all right. it is is how happy and cheery we are in southern california yeah. <laughs> i know a lot of people use it as a sleep aid uh, as well that's uh, very possible yeah if uh, if somebody has uh, eaten something maybe poisonous it can also use as a, a nausea inducing uh, agent so <laughs> but, but i do want to say to you just as uh with rovers magazine of course a quarterly yes but i'm still accumulating stories each quarter and yes. trying to find yes one of the fascinating aspects to me of writing about the land rover world and the land rover community and for you podcasting about a broadcast yep about yep it, is there is absolutely never a moment when i say gosh we have nothing to put in the magazine that's right yeah that's right people that's right. are doing so many extraordinary things yes. with and around their land rovers that is exactly that right it is i'm besieged with it and happily people reach out and say Hey, I think I have something you might be interested in. Yes, do my work for me. Yes, please. please. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's the thing, uh, you know, Jeff. We we often uh, are asked, like, how is it that you guys do a weekly uh, podcast? The answer is, of course, I don't know. Um, but uh, but we. <laughs> oh, it's Abigail. Isn't yeah, it's it? Abigail. It's have, Liza. Yeah. It's uh, it's the support staff. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that uh, that helps us uh, do this, and they're really the uh, you know, and Liza and uh, Abigail, of course, have just right. come back from the G four recreation. Right. So they're doing things far cooler than Ike and I, anyways. But, and I uh, just want to mention one of our honorees was to have been, but she could not come because of the celebration. Oh, right. Was yes, Nikki yes. Davies right. from the UK, from Land Rover UK, who indeed created the G4. That's right. And uh, was really sent a beautiful note of saying, I can't come, but I really thank everybody. Oh, for doing that's, that. uh, that's awesome. Yeah. So it is, uh, it is amazing. Uh, you know, uh, we never go uh, dry for interesting people in this. <laughs> no, uh, we do community. not. Uh, that's for sure. So, uh, you know, what do we have? Uh, uh, coming up uh, today, this is again, I think the big, uh, the big open day. So we're going to have, right. like you said, open our TV, open our TV. Fantastic. So everyone, but that section six, which really does need to be monitored. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, so I would just say to people who are here, section one, section three, mm -hmm. and section five are all in fine shape, despite 
the rainy weather the rainy of weather, last yeah. night. Yeah, yeah, good. Sections yeah. Uh, two and four, I would just exercise some caution on those mm -hmm. because they are quite steep and slick, and slick from yeah. the uh, rains last night. That's but otherwise, right. everything's open, and uh, the guided trail rides have just taken off. Yeah, There'll be another started, afternoon yeah. session yeah. of those, as well as open trail rides, yeah. which leave probably in, what, about a half hour? Something, something like, like that, that, yeah. The Barbara Toy. Uh, the Barbara uh, Toy Tribute. Three o'clock, yeah. Have has that been covered here at all? We haven't really talked about so, it. Yet. We have a minute. Oh, we yeah, absolutely oh, do. Wonderful. In the 1950s, when women in most parts of the world were not comfortably allowed to drive unaccompanied by, right, yeah. by a male, yeah. Barbara Toy, an adventurist from the UK, purchased herself a Series One Land Rover named Pollyanna, That's which right. she proceeded to cross every continent that's right shipping it from continent to yeah. continent yeah. at a time when that just did not happen no not at all the rover company know that she purchased it followed her exploits because she wrote books about yeah. them yep and then said no 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 please don't do it in pollyanna anymore we have a series two yeah, and yeah, then a right. two a and you that's must right. have one of these that's right and they made her yes truthfully yeah, take yeah, this yeah, one and one, yeah. continue her tributes mm -hmm. well and bill and patty cooper um, enthusiasts from Blairstown, New yep. Jersey, decided that they wanted to recreate Barbara Toy's trip across America, yeah, across the United States. The book was called Columbus Was Right. That was her. That was the title of her book. <laughs> and they actually purchased a, a replica, a Series One. Mm -hmm. Bill worked on it in his shop alone, and, and with Patty following, and a nice, comfortable new one. That's right. Yeah. They yep. traveled the opposite direction from New yep. York yep. all the way across to San Francisco. That's right. Yeah. And the following what the Texas Rovers Club created a few years prior, mm -hmm. the uh, at the Scar event, mm -hmm. they created the Barbara Toy Tribute Run trail runs women driver only that's right if a male is in the vehicle he must sit in the back absolutely and he is only allowed to speak when spoken to <laughs> so returning to your childhood roots as a that's young right. boy yeah, that's right exactly but yes this is we'll be here this afternoon bill will be speaking a little bit about barbara toy daphne green yes the camel trophy yes. participant yes. will also be part yeah. of the group yeah. and i mean it's being led by sarah mccaig that's right and yep. it takes off, I believe it's 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, that's right. Our own Jenna Fribley, uh, ah, Team 155 driver of the uh, of the underpowered hour uh, dream Rebel. machine, the full sail yeah. uh, dream machine, uh, Rebel uh, Rally Car will be uh, driving. I think she's going to steal, uh, maybe she's going to steal it, Ben's 80 inch. That would be awesome yeah. to take an 80 inch. Yeah, I think that's right. the plan. So, one uh, hopes, since I've never seen a top for that one. No, one I don't, the believe, I don't believe he owns a top for it. Yeah, <laughs> so we've, uh, we're going to do that. That's going to be fantastic. Excellent, and then, of right. Of course, uh, later tonight, uh, the uh, the film, the outdoor film here. If there is ever a movie that celebrates all of the expanse of Land Rover life, That's from right. cultural to mechanical, yes. it is the South African brilliant film, The Gods Must Be Crazy. <laughs> and this right. is the first one. There was a two. There also. was a two. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Decades ago, at a drive-in movie, out, a theater outside of Norfolk, Virginia, the Rover owners of Virginia Club rented that movie theater for mm -hmm, the night mm -hmm. and at all the participants at the then mid-atlantic rally yes drove their vehicles into the movie theater and watched that that's fantastic. this is being recreated today that's beautiful and what a better film uh you know there simply isn't one uh, is. here at a, at a land rover event uh, i believe ike is going to arrive by uh, steering one of the 80 inches uh, backwards from while uh, well, sitting on the windshield so uh we're going to <laughs> which is perfect uh, yeah. as long as we don't winch up the tree that's right? exactly right we got we're, we're, quite, we're working on the details <laughs> on how we'll do that but uh yeah it will be uh it'll be another fantastic day and then uh, everybody's breaking down and, right there's uh, a evening you know, party tonight just at the right. same right. time on the deck, on yep. the decks yeah and uh, also a terrific opportunity to actually see this full range of historic vehicles that are here talk with the land rover experience people right. who are here uh eyeball some of the new models that's that right are here yeah well, they are here and uh those poor gentlemen that have to keep them uh looking nice are out there uh cleaning every raindrop off i'm hoping them, i so. can sneak 
my 67109. So maybe it can be detailed. I know. Get it through the detail. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, I mean, the free cappuccinos are nice. But if Land Rover were just offering free detailing, I think my gosh, by this time, though, they would have had an insurrection from the staff. For sure. There's for mine. You would need an industrial vacuum (laughs) for the inside. (laughs) This is nothing. that. Yeah, I think we're past. Chamois is going to take. Yeah, you're not going to chamois that. Yeah, I think we're we're uh, we're past a power washer into sandblast. Where's the sandblast? Yeah, it's uh, just just abandoned that paint entirely. Well, Jeff, this has been nothing more than an absolute uh, pleasure to spend every morning with you. Well, uh, thank for the you last very much, Stephen. The same days. here. I hope I can join the podcast in the future. Absolutely, you are welcome anytime. Thank you you are uh, you're not just a, a an honorary contributor. I think you are a uh, celebrity co-host. Is maybe the better way to look at. Oh, that's so. getting you're digging deep down in the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Jeff. Thank Great. you again for everything that you have done to make this event such a huge success. I know it has been a Herculean effort for you and your team and the rest of the group over the course of the last, since the 50th anniversary, uh, right. those last 25 years. I know you started the next day and uh, have been <laughs> working diligently <laughs> for the last 25 years. So we all appreciate it here Thank in the community. And uh, we will, uh, maybe we'll see you uh, next year at the Southern California Whoa, event. wouldn't that be wonderful to do? Maybe Thank we'll you. kick off every morning there. I would love that. All I right. promise that. Great. Well, we Thank you very it. much, Stephen. Congratulations. Thank you, Jeff. All right. All right. And thank you all for joining us every morning here for the last few days. If you haven't had a chance to come out to the uh, Greek Peak event here, the Anarch 75th Diamond Jubilee, join us today. And if you're around the world, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. And uh, maybe uh, you'll be here for the uh, the next event. Maybe it'll be 80 years. And, uh, you know, start planning now and, uh, and uh, meet us here. Excellent. Bye, Bye everyone. Now.